Hey guys, Funk Roberts here with my amazing, beautiful wife, Angela. And today, we're gonna take you through the ultimate 30 minute workout. That's right, this is a 30 minute workout using 30 different exercises. And we're also move, using the six main movement patterns, which is a hinge, which is a squat, which is a lunge, which is a press, which is a pull, and a carry. Well, the carry, we're gonna use core and carry exercises. But again, we wanna make sure that you're moving using all of the main movement patterns, but we're gonna do this workout, 30 different exercises. We're bringing it to you. The final thing that we're gonna add on is Angela's gonna use kettlebells and body weight. I'm gonna use dumbbells and body weight. So if you only have one kettlebell, you're using 12 kilos, then you follow Angela. If you have dumbbells, you follow me, and uh, let's get this going. So we're doing 30 exercises. Each exercise, 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds rest, which means you only have to do the exercise once but you wanna move as quickly as you can throughout each exercise. Of course, at the start, it's gonna be a little slow. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna show you the exercises coming up in the during the 20 second rest, so you'll see what's coming up. Have everything ready for you. Are you guys ready? Make sure you've warmed up before. Make sure you're ready to crush it. And if you are already subscribed on this channel and you want more workouts like this, additional workouts, then click the join button or click the first link in the description box to join the Funk Roberts Army, my YouTube membership. You get more workouts, you get monthly workout programs, and you also get challenges. So join us. So you guys ready? Are you ready, honey? You guys ready? First exercise, goblet squats. Pick up your weight. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, here we go. Goblet squat, so. Down into a squat. Remember, heels on the ground. Knees pointed out. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Keep your elbows tight to the body. And the goal here is to try to keep your body nice and tall. Neutral spine. Don't bend over, because of course with the dumbbell in your hand, you want to move forward. Good, keep going, keep going. First exercise, so don't go too crazy. Heels on the ground though, drive through your heels. Good, second exercise, body weight push-ups. We're gonna tell you to breathe a lot throughout. Make sure with your push-up, you're again in a neutral position, core tight, spread those hands out, and when you're going down, elbows at a 45 degree angle, not, not flared out. Here we go. Everyone starts on their toes. Moving as fast or slow as you can. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Core tight. Keep going, we're trying to build some muscle here. Endurance, conditioning. Oh, felt that in the shoulder. Got about 12 seconds. It's the last time you're doing push-ups. So make them good. Core tight. Oh, time, that was tough. All right, deadlifts. Let's go, deadlifts. I got my 20s. We're doing dumbbell deadlifts or kettlebell deadlifts. So now this is a hinge exercise. First exercise was squat, second was a push, now this is a hinge. Which means we're hinging at the hips. Here we go. Down. So I got 20s. Next time I do this workout, I'll probably go a little bit heavier. But back straight through the movement. Hinge at the hips. So we're not bending at the knees too much, but we do need a slight bend. Squeeze the glutes at the top, but don't overextend, okay? Core's gotta be tight. If your core ain't tight, the exercise ain't right. Knees pointed out, don't let them cave in. Pulling from the bottom, hinging at the hips, good. All right, we're doing rows. Quadruped rows. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 20 seconds each side, okay? Get in all fours. Again, core tight. Drive that hand, your left hand into the ground. And we're gonna roll back by our hips. Here we go. Angela's using the kettlebell. She's, not, she's got a, a smaller range of motion, but still feels that for sure in the lats. Back straight. 
We've got about five seconds before we switch sides. By the hips. Okay, switch sides. Here we go, keep going. Roll back and bring it forward and try not to let the dumbbell or kettlebell touch the ground. Keep that core tight, keep your glutes engaged. Good. All right, that was our pull exercise. Next exercise, forward lunge. We're gonna do this with no weight. You can do body weight. We're just gonna do a forward lunge, alternating. How are you guys doing out there? Again, this is, if this is the first time you're doing this workout, you'll figure out what weight you wanna use, what weight you don't wanna use. So in this forward lunge, body's tall, pushing off with that front leg. Don't step out too far because you don't want to lose your balance. But you gotta keep the core tight. Good, push off with that front leg. Hands can be anywhere, up here, up here. And if this is the third or fourth time, you can even go prisoner, forward lunge. Just keep that body tall. Alignment, folks. And move at your own pace. Good work. All right, six exercise, hollow holds. So now we're hitting the core. So every six exercise, if you haven't figured out yet, or you probably don't know, is going to be all six movement patterns. Okay, well, core carry. We combine those two, because we just don't want to be carrying the whole time. Anyways, ooh, all right, here we go. Head back. I want you to point your toes. Biceps by your ears. Press the small of your back into the ground. Engage, engage. If you want to rock, we can do hollow rocks. Good. So either hold or rock. But make sure when you're rocking, you can feel the small of your back in the ground. Keep going. Keep those toes pointed, good work. Okay, back up, exercise number seven. Body weight Y squats. So we're definitely engaging the back with the squats. Again, so pretend that you had something over your head. And so for some of us, you'll be able to go straight Y for me. I'm just with my hands up. <laughs> Another squat, here we go. So again, as you can see, Angela, go point to the side for me. Angela's back is completely straight as she's going through. So spine, neutral spine, neutral position. Just keeping the hands back, helping her keep that straight. Pushing through the heels, squeezing the glutes at the top. Pushing those knees out. Perfect, perfect. If you want to see how to do it, right there. Exhaling on the way up, inhaling on the way down, keeping the core tight. Good work. Keep going. Good work, honey. Oh, shoulders felt that one. All right, single arm chest press. So get on the ground, kettlebell. You're gonna have it 20 seconds on the left and then 20 seconds on the right. Okay, so we'll keep it, or whatever you're doing. So I've got the, I'm looking at the timer here. I'm doing this for you, here we go. So just continuous. Of course, I've only got 30, so I'm gonna be moving faster than Angela pretty much has 30s too. It's got 12 kilo. We got about 25 seconds, five seconds on this side. Move it over, you can switch now. Make sure you're, move it, good. Angela put it around her head. That's how you do it with the kettlebell. I put it under my knees. That's how you do it with the dumbbell. And here we go. Press straight up over your eyes. Make sure that this time you have a little bit of an extension in your back. You don't want to push the lower back into the ground. Not on a, not on a press. All right. Up to alternating single arm RDLs. <clears throat> Romanian deadlifts. So single leg, sorry. So we're gonna do 20 seconds. I'm gonna alternate. You're gonna do 20 seconds one side, 20 seconds the other side, right? Cause you're not going all the way back. Oh, okay, four. Down. So again, hinging at the hips. You just want to do these ones, honey? Okay. So when you're going down, 
Just go straight down. You can do opposite arm, opposite leg. Core tight. Hip, hinge at the hips. Good. Yeah, switch. Keep going. So try to keep that back straight. Good work, good work. Next up, high pulls. So I'm gonna use uh, dumbbells and ex explosive high pulls. And I'm just gonna use a swinging high pull technique. So at 20 seconds, you're gonna switch. I'll, I'll, try, to sh I'll try to remember to show you. Time, okay, here we go. So bring it down. Core tight, explode, explode. Keep going. If you got a kettlebell, switch. Dumbbells, keep going. Good. Pull, pull. So you're hinging and pulling back. Combination of both. Core tight. Good work. All right, curtsy lunge, alternating. Or meet the queens if you know. If you know me. Six seconds, you guys are doing great. Wow, I'm feeling a little bit of a pump already. Start to the right or left. Good, keep going. Alternating. So we're not gonna go step back too far. We wanna try to get that back knee to the ground. Point that light, point that toe forward, body tall. You're gonna feel this in your glutes. Core tight so you can keep your balance. Push off with that front leg. <laughs> front leg push off, good. So we're moving in different planes of motion using the six different movement patterns. This is the lunge. Good. Again, if this is your second or third time, you can add load to that as well. All right, next up, ab bicycles. So now we're getting back into the ab workout. Ab exercise, core, ab, carry. I don't need anyone saying, hey, Funk, there's not a carry. We're still working core. I'm giving you what you guys need. Exercises that'll help you get better. I know you guys wouldn't say that. I love you guys. Okay, let's work, let's work. Breathe. Remember, we're only doing each exercise once. So try to get the most out of every exercise that you do. And again, if this is your first time, you wanna master the exercise, so your second, third, and fourth time, you're crushing or you're adding weight. With that bicycles, make sure you push the smaller your back into the ground. Pelvic tilt, and then rotate. Ooh, that's a good one, man. I'll tell you, it's a... All right, we keep going, dumbbell sumo squats or kettlebell sumo squats. So I'm gonna use a dumbbell. Now again, my hips are a little tight. I don't have as, I'm not as mobile as most people are flexible. So I'm just gonna go down as much as I can. Angela will show you how deep you should go. So feet pointed to the sides. Again, back straight. And we can do some pulses if you want. Let's pulse a little bit, honey. Pulse, pulse. Two pulses and then straight up. Squeeze the glutes to the top. Two pulses, squeeze the glutes. Because now we're gonna feel this, even though it's a squat, well, you're gonna feel it in the glutes. So just think about the glutes, specifically when you're pulsing. Stay on your heels, core tight. Point those knees out well. I always feel weird doing that exercise, but it works. Okay, crush press, chest press on the ground. Bring two dumbbells together, or the kettlebell, to, and crush that kettlebell. Squeeze that kettlebell, squeeze the bell, yeah. The bell part, that's it. Straight up. Well, not straight up specifically, but. So you're gonna feel this in your triceps. Of course, the chest, pecs. 
Good, and again, you want a little bit of extension happening in the back. Focus on the pecs doing the work. Uh, and move fast. We wanna burn. We wanna feel the blood go into your pecs and your shoulders. Uh, oh, geez. Shoulders are done there. Okay, next up, alternating. Oh, dumbbell snatches, all right. More kettlebell snatch. You can alternate. This is where we kick it up a notch now, kids. We're kicking it up a notch, kids. 15th exercise. This is a hip hinge. Here we go. Alternate. Or, you got it. Good. Use that entire body. Explode. Try to move fast. Hinge at the hips. Good, keep going. Core tight. Gotta keep that core and your pillar tight. Good. Straight up. We got a pull. We got a hip hinge. We got an extension with the body. Cool. Cardio. Explosiveness. All right. Back down to ground for pullovers. Here we go. Exercise 16. Halfway done. Pullovers is a pull exercise. Using those lats, using the rhomboids. Feel this in your chest as well. Good. Slight bend in the elbows, specifically if you have shoulder issues. And if you have shoulder issues, you may want to skip this exercise. Just use your body weight. Just go with the movement and go as far back as you can. Maybe use single dumbbell and don't go as far back to get the stretch. It's our old school bodybuilding exercise. Uh, Want to get those wings? I'm sure my wife Angela used to do these. <laughs> when she was a bodybuilder. All right, uh, reverse lunge to lateral lunge. All right, we're gonna alternate here. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Hope you guys are loving it. Always trying to bring you guys different but effective workouts. Reverse lunge and then side lateral. Good. Reverse lunge, step to the side. Good. Push off with that leg. Oh, again, now we're working obviously the lunge. We got quads, we've got adductors, we got abductors, we got glutes. So, all you ladies out there, this is a beautiful exercise, specifically for your adductors, abductors, glutes. Guys, this is a must. We gotta be able to move side to side. If you're an athlete, another must. Here we go, all right. Moving right along, rotational side planks. So just, sorry? Yeah. Oh, all right. I'll have to catch my breath here for the second half of the show. <laughs> here we go. Rotate. Keep the knees off the ground. Keep the hips off the ground. And keep your feet stacked. And move smooth. Keep those elbows at a 90 degree angle. Keep them underneath you. Keep the shoulders on top of the elbow. And keep your core tight. Again, if I was to come over and push you, you shouldn't move. That means you gotta get your glutes tight, your quads tight, your core tight. And get your damn mind right. <laughs> Don't hold your breath, keep breathing. Correct, absolutely correct. All right, uh, dumbbell squats, that's nice. So we can do body weight squat, you can do jump squats. I'm holding dumbbells on the side. Angela's gonna do a rack on one side. And then after 20 seconds, she's gonna rack it on the other side. So this one's strength. So we wanna move. Good. Nice and slow, which means everything's tight. Heels on the ground. Keep going. 
four seconds before you switch. If you have a kettlebell, switch. Even if you have a dumbbell and you want to do the rack, you know, maybe you're weak, your core is weak, and you need to build it, strengthen it, and put that dumbbell in front of you. Make sure that your knees are pointed out throughout the whole movement. Don't let them cave in. That's a linchpin, that's a weakness in the body. Dumbbell, flat chest press. So Andrew's gonna do a shoulder press here. I'm gonna do a chest press, double chest press. So you can do the shoulder press standing with the kettlebell. Now with the dumbbells, we're just gonna do good old fashioned chest press. 45 degree angle on the chest press. Bridge it up to make it tougher. Switch for the kettlebell, for the dumbbell. Keep going. Get up in that bridge. 45 degree angle. With the, chet, with the kettlebell press, core tight. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I thought I heard a beep beep. That was something different, okay. Next up, sorry guys, my eyes are going. Cleans. So you're gonna do 20, 20 second cleans on one side and then 20 on the other here. I'm doing full cleaneries. So this is a hip hinge again. So I'm using a little bit of a hinge to clean the dumbbells up, but I'm keeping my elbows tight to the body. So I'm not switch for the kettlebells. So I'm not curling per se. Full body to clean. Good. Oh, all right. Bent over piston rows. So with the kettlebell, you're rowing between your legs with the dumbbell, we're gonna ground and pound. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna ground and pound, as the crofter would say. That's my dad. Core's gotta be tight here. Row up and down. I'm gonna go a little bit faster. Knees slightly bent. Keep those elbows tight to the body. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, keep going, keep going. Right, nice and tight to the body. Oh, oh geez. Those are sneakily tough. All right, goblet walking lunge. Or just regular walking lunges. We're gonna go side to side. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And just walk as far as you can. We're gonna show you two different walks. I'm gonna just go with continuous. You can pause in the middle. Just keep that body tall. Good. Focus again on keeping the core tight as you walk, or else you're gonna fall to the side. Core tight as you walk. Don't drag your foot. If you're gonna go lunge to lunge, don't drag. If you're gonna stop, reset every time. Reset, it's like Angela. Good, keep going guys. Good work. We're almost there. Well, no we're not. Okay, reverse crunch, reverse crunch. Here we go. Now we're getting the lower abs. For those of you who wanna work the lower abs, this is your bread and butter right now. Keep the small of your back pushed against the ground, which means pelvic tilt. A little bit of a pelvic tilt. And try to bring your belly button to your chest. And that will help you focus on the lower abs and not your hip flexors. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. 
Ooh, good. You can straighten your legs at the bottom. Makes it a little bit tougher. Because now your lower body has to come a little bit further. Or you can go really quick. Burn it out. And not go all the way back. Woo. Keep going. Oh. All right. Back up. Hope we're doing great. Hope I didn't forget anything. Jump squats. No, Hindu squats. We're just doing Hindu squats. So now, another different squat variation on our toes. So, so far I've been telling you, squat on your heels, squat on your heels. Now, we're gonna be fluid squatting on our toes and keeping our knees pointed out. So every time you come down, you almost want to have your lower, oh, sorry, the back of your hands sweep the ground if you can. Still keep those knees out. It's almost like an up and down movement. But stay on the balls of your feet. Stay on those toes. Not directly on the toes, but the balls of your feet. I'll go from the side. Good. Again, we're also trying to be athletic as well. Nice, nice. Okay. Uh, quadruped tricep kickbacks. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use tens. And just gonna go with no weight, but she's really gonna focus on squeezing the triceps. So again, set up in that quadruped. And keep those elbows tight to the body. And as you can see, for me, you can see my elbows higher than my shoulder. The reason why I do that is to ensure that my triceps are doing the work. If I'm down here, I'm not feeling anything. Up here, and keep it tight to the body. Switch sides, switch sides. So here, hike it all the way up. You can make a 10 pound dumbbell feel like it's a thousand pounds when you put, well maybe not a thousand, ah, when you put those elbows as high as possible. And also, Squeeze at the top. Oh, jeez. That's a forgotten. Not a lot of people like that exercise, but I love it. If it's done right. Okay. Uh, swings. Swings. Kettlebell swings and dumbbell suitcase swings. Explosive hip hinge. I'm going to use these dumbbells. Oh, jeez. Maybe I should not have used these dumbbells. Here we go. Now, it's the lower body exercise. Hinge and explode. Angela's doing hard style kettlebell swing. So she's throwing the kettlebell through her legs and exploding up. Squeezing her glutes at the top, but not extending. Explode, explode, explode. Keep those knees pointed out. Time. Oh, next up, bicep curls. Oh, curls for the girls or curls for the boys. Alternating curls. Angela's gonna do crush kettlebell curls. Man, almost there, guys. Body tall, core tight. Turn to the top, elbows tight, move fast. You can even go. Just keep those elbows tight. And as you can see, my shoulders are back a little bit. Oh, oh, here we go. You can double it up. You can single, double, single. Yes. Oh, this is our pull. We're pulling. Okay, isometric split squat holds. We're almost there, everybody. We're just gonna sit in a split squat. 20 seconds to side. I'm gonna go from the side. That's what's going on here right now. All right, here we go. Just sit. Okay, so let's align our body. Right knees straight, right over your toes, nice and tall. Squeeze that glute of the, of the leg that's back. Knees off the ground, core tight, 
shoulders back. Here we go. Switch sides. And I'll just do it from this way so you can see. So again, you want to be able to sit in this position. You may feel a little bit in your hip flexors like I do. I'm shaking right now, as you can see. Hip flexors are tight. Six seconds. I still want to stay tight, 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 tight. Time. Last exercise, we're carrying. Single arm carries. Back and forth. We'll do 20 seconds a side. You'll use the kettlebell. I'll use the dumbbell. Finally, our final movement, which are carries. Yeah, stay straight up. We're gonna go side to side. Let's go. So straight up, just walking. Now this exercise, obviously, we wanna go heavy, but because you're at home, you may not have really heavy weights. So you just wanna focus on keeping the body aligned during this walk. Switch sides, put that down, pick back up and keep going, here we go. So I'm just gonna walk all over the place. And this is really, really a functional movement for you because when you're picking up groceries, keep, you see how I'm keeping everything tight to the body? I'm not out here. We're tight, tight, tight. Time, great work. Speaking of tight, we are tight together and you are tightly done. Thank you so much, guys, that was awesome. 30 minute workout, 30 different exercises using the six movement patterns. Hinge, push, press, no, hinge, push, pull, squat, lunge, carry and core. But again, teaching you how to make sure that you have all of those movements in your overall training throughout the week. Don't press too much, you know, don't squat too much. Get those lunges, get the pulls, get the hip hinge. Keep your body aligned and strong. I love you. Anyways, for those of you who are here and want extra Angela workouts, want extra 30-day workouts, want extra content, then click the join button or the link at the top and join the Funk Roberts Fitness Army, our YouTube membership. This is amazing. I want you to join. Please like this, share this, keep your comments below. Let us know how you did. And if it's, this is the second, third, or fourth time, no, if you're about to do this again, the way you make it harder is either move faster or use heavier weight, right? Anything to say to the people, honey? Uh, good luck. <laughs> we love you, we'll see you, get it done. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video and you learned something from it today. Please like it, share it, comment below, subscribe to this channel, and if you want additional workouts, please join my YouTube membership. And if you like that video, click that button right there to watch that next video, and I'll see you on the other side. Get it done.